So, I do not have this servant, but I have known for a long time how badly insta-kill gimped this servant. I didn't realize how badly it gimped, you know, Chris, ult uh, not alter, assassin. I didn't realize how cracked her MP gain actually is. Um, because she is able to loop 333 berserkers and refund 100% of her MP. Uh, now that her MP buff went through and she does not insta kill first. Hopefully, you know, Chris, uh, assassin, this, the, it's the last servant that has issues like this. I think actually, no, I think Arise is, uh, unfortunately still dealing with this issue, but my God, she got a glow up like both her and a scander just oof, oof. Now she's not going to beat out Valks. I don't like in terms of refund. I don't think so. But this is now a servant that's worthy of bringing out of second archive and actively using the farm because it, like I was thoroughly impressed with what she could do just with double Castoria. So let's get started. I'm sure Daryl is eating really good right now. That man is probably just through the fucking moon. Uh, ch ch base attack, 8.8K. It's just below the average for four stars, which I believe is 9,000. Uh, but it's fine. It like, it <laughs> could be worse. We could be dealing with 8,000 or like high 7,000s. So it's not the worst. Assassin has a negative modifier for damage, but it's, it's still nowhere as bad as some other servants could be. Uh, ch -ch -ch. right is damage, not attack. Base damage multiplier. Yeah. So HP is lower. No, actually, it's not that bad. It's not high, but it's not like super low HP. MP charge 0.78%. Uh, this number for me is deceptive. Uh, it says 0.78 but uh thing is when she's doing farming she has plus 90 percent mp gain because of her own kit and then just double castoria so ah <laughs> uh, he like she makes other three hit um arts farmers look bad he does and it's so it's so wild that she couldn't farm before and now she just makes them all look bad like in comparison for like what buff she has versus what they they have had. Deck. Weak hit counts, not gonna lie. These aren't her her face cards are not good. Uh three hit quick cards with a 25% star gen. They're decent, they're not good. Uh they're probably not critting on the arts cards either, so they're just there to either get some gain back or help with arts chains, but uh, good, good luck. Good luck. Like, they honestly, these don't even have to be that good. They don't have to be good. They don't have to crit. Because uh, honestly, unless you're fighting two enemies, you're probably not lacking that much in gain. Not from what I saw. First skill, 30% defense, another 30% defense for that turn, and then debuff resistance. So 60% for one turn, 30 for the rest, and solid debuff resistance. This is just a, this is morph with just a different name. Second skill, taunt for one turn, uh, one time, yeah, taunt for one turn of 300%, reduces damage taken for three attacks for five turn. With her new MP, this is this is the same uh, thing as uh, Saika Magoichi. How there is something in their kit that makes people want to attack them, and there's a way to. But unlike Saika, Nido Chris has a way to force people to attack her. So this is basically her battery skill. If the enemy 
but it's only gonna work in CQs. It's only gonna work when she does not kill uh, whoever she MPs. Which it's nice that she has utility. She is a farmer that has actual like CQ utility. Or no, 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 sorry. I probably have that ass backwards. She, it's probably CQ uh, unit that can just do farming. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rephrase that. She, she's a CQ unit that's r actually really good at farming. Third skill. This is her farming skill. 30% attack, very healthy. It makes like her having a low base attack, like not that much of an issue. 20% uh, MP damage, also very nice. These two combine are a mana burst. And third skill, 30% MP gen. If you're gonna level any skill that Needlecrest has at all, it's the third skill. The other two, like for farming, do not matter at all. They're not gonna do anything. These two are only for if you're actually fighting someone that's going to hit you back. But all these really good numbers. Uh, yeah, as an art servant, you have an overabundance of arts buffs. Not You don't get MP damage except from Oberon uh, or Tomomo. And most cases these days, you aren't. Eh. No, Tomomo is seeing a comeback now. Because of the skill cooldown, she's seeing a comeback, but it's only if the DPS uh, has skill cooldown in their kit too. AKA Summer Buki, like she needed a buff. Passives, just two, 10% uh, star gen and divinity for a little extra damage. Ish. Nino Chris, someone that actually needs skill cooldown. No, no, she doesn't. Um, is it ever going to come into play? I mean, it can if you make it. Um, this over mana loading. I honestly want to say it doesn't even matter. If you're fighting berserkers, then it kind of matters, but not really. Uh, if you're fighting Ryder, she loops 100% at base, um, or not at base. She loops 100% without extra help besides like just double cast Soria. So I mean, like, I, I don't want to say this is a bad thing, this, but she doesn't need it. Like Needle Chris is just the servant that doesn't need a pens. If like for comfort sure give her to this she doesn't have a battery herself but her refund is just solid enough that she kind of doesn't need a battery and again this is just based on what i've seen from plushy videos because again i do not have this servant could i have done a calc for it yeah but i like i have that empirical evidence like in the video that i don't want to do the calc myself or i don't want to have to do the calc myself if there was a video released this morning that showed what I was going to test anyway. We're not like, I'm not looking at damage for Needle Chris. I'm just looking at refund. So also fun fact. Uh, I just learned that this is how it works on this site. Uh, thank you missed. I did not realize that the order, all this stuff appears, uh, on Atlas is how it actually happens in game. I thought like there was an icon that showed uh, whether one of these effects happens before damage. Nope. The order it shows on here is like the order it actually shows up in the MP. This is why death proc was happening first uh, for Gino Chris, and then they changed it. So this is how it looks now. As you can see, the insta-kill went down, so it happens after damage, and it fixed her issue. They actually have this... They actually still have an, uh, an effect on it, and they just move the effect down. Or, like, they didn't... Sorry, let me rephrase that. Uh, in the coding for the MP, it still has something that's supposed to happen before damage, but now it's just nothing is happening before damage. Uh, it's like they had like a value for it and they just erased it and then they added that value farther down in the code. Uh, if you've ever done coding, that's that is how this stuff works. So 
I'm, I'm glad I know this now. I, I am not going to be confused anymore. Um, like when doing reviews on the site, because again, I'm not that familiar with Atlas compared to um, Fandom, but I'm always happy to learn this stuff. And then like all the rest of this makes so much more sense. Defense uh, down happens after damage. His damage is up here. Skill seal on all enemies. I want to talk about this specifically. And now we can go back over here. Um, skill seal for one turn. Why is this important that Nidacris has? When an enemy is skill sealed, all they can do is just basic attack. And she taunts. And she damage cuts. And super high defense. The turn you pop this, Nidocris is not going to take any damage. And she's just going to get a flat out battery of however high. Uh, the more hits the enemy has, the bigger a battery this is. Uh, if, it's someone, if it's someone like Vitra who has so many hits on their attack, and I'm bringing up Vitra because of the uh, Storm Pod node. It's a lot, it's a lot. And unfortunately, she doesn't have 4%, she only has three. She had four, oof. It would be even more helpful. Uh, changes battle side, uh, battlefield to water side. Uh, again, I didn't know why she got this, that I saw her MP animation. And then it makes sense. Is literally f like Indiana Jones water trap. Um, it's, it was nice to see. Huh. I haven't seen this note before. Waterside battlefield can't be removed because it's attached to the field itself, not servants. Is this some actually is this something that pops up? Does Ozzy say this too, or is it unique to Needle Chris? Oh okay. So no, Nido Chris is actually special in this. Uh, she is not. So even when she dies, yes. Okay, so that's how this works. Even if Nido Chris dies, the the battlefield still should be waterside. That's how this is phrasing it. It. Mm, Oh, no. Okay. Better example. Better example. Um, Arquid. Arquid, um, it doesn't show water side or it doesn't show you have Millennium um, Castle on her skills. It shows it in the top right, the that countdown. So even if um, Arquid got buff removed, the battlefield wouldn't be changing. You would still be in the Millennium Castle battlefield. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's how this is phrasing. It's not that if Needle Chris dies, it's a water side. It's just that, uh, this, she, like the field itself changed to water side, not she is making it water side like Ozzy. And in skill chance happens after damage now, uh, Eighty percent chance. Uh, OC one. Yeah, her base like sixty percent isn't high. Um. Yeah, like this is counting. Uh, show ya. It was like sixty percent is sixty percent. Yeah, show you show ya is upping it by fifty percent. 50% of uh, 60 is 90. So that that's all this is doing. Um, yeah, so she... Needle Chris alter, uh, Assassin, not that good at uh, skill farming. Like, OG Needle Chris Alter is just better. I mean, ugh, keep saying it. 
OG Needlecrest is just better at the insta kill farming than Summer is gonna be. Uh, unless they buff one of these skills to also give her insta kill um, effect up, that's probably not changing. But the important thing for Needlecrest was all that this happened after damage. It's the same as Shiki, like both the Shikis. Um, although the single target Shiki didn't matter that much. But uh, Saber Shiki, the, like in skill happening after damage is what propelled her into being able to black rail loop and do it well. Uh, Matt's the level, he needs lamps. Thankfully, she only needs the one skill leveled right now. Uh, so, okay, six roots and 12 lamps that it's something you could do in a day. Do I advise you doing it in a day? No. Uh, if you just have the extra mats lying around, just use it on her. Um, she, like, I do like that she's a very cost effective unit to level. Like you only needing one skill for her to do like literally all her farming. It's nice. Bonsi, 10% uh, art up, 10% MP gen while she's on the field. Yeah, and it, like this was a spit in the fucking face when she first came out. Now it is like this is a, a good bond CE for her because she's actually able to do arts farming. And then just with like if this ever became a passive, now she can definitely loop 333 three, three berserkers and loop 100%. It is guaranteed because I saw she was looping like 90, 93. And that's Neo Chris. Yeah, this is not a serpent. I'm going to like try dodging now, like her and a scander. Like if I have a chance to get them, I will get them. Um, But that's going to be on my main account, not JP. Uh, Just because again, JP, it's kind of at the point where NA is getting the same units that I started the account with. Uh, so I know it's still two years out, but J my main JP account is not my main. It, even though I call it my main JP, it's still an alt account. NA is the main. So me going for like fun servants on JP just doesn't make sense. I'll, I'd rather just wait uh, and have them on the main account where I definitely have everything to make them shine. However, I need them to. I'm happy with today's buffs. Uh, people were saying a whole lot of shit for ninth anniversary at the start. Uh, I always count servant buffs as part of the anniversary. Uh, I have the only one that's kind of disappointed me is Saber Gilles. And it's not even because the buff was bad. It's because Gilles, uh, Gilles Doré as a character not not as a character gameplay wise is bad all right i will see you guys in the next one peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace